Around the world, nations are striving to meet their zero carbon emission targets. To do this, they will have to reduce their dependence on fossil fuels. If the wind is blowing, you can have wind. If the sun is shining, you can have solar. The issue is really about intermittency and storage, and it's very difficult to store energy. A lot of people think that electrification is the answer to everything. There are many areas where electrification, at least for now, is not the answer. It won't do. And hydrogen can solve quite a few of those. Hydrogen, the first and most abundant element in the universe, can be a great source of non-polluting energy, which can be stored and transported. And when burned, it just emits water vapor. Hydrogen is a great material in that it can fuel your car, the ferry you ride on, the train you ride on. It has the opportunity to replace fossil fuels. It's very versatile and therefore it will play a, an important role in the future. INEOS is Europe's leading user of electrolysis, a process which can be used to split water into oxygen and hydrogen. And when powered by renewables, it produces emission-free green hydrogen. At its plant in Raffness, INEOS is building Europe's largest green hydrogen electrolyzer, powered by 20 megawatts of renewable energy. In Norway, we have access to clean electricity, so the, the starting point to make green hydrogen is there. It's a great project, 22,000 tonnes of CO2 emissions reduced every year once it's online. As part of the 3 billion euro investment into Project 1 in Antwerp, the plant will transition from its energy use from natural gas to wind power and hydrogen as a fuel source. It's a shining example of how new technology, with a will by the company, can actually pull out the use of natural gas and replace it with hydrogen. We have a road now with hydrogen to get all the way to zero. There are similar stories across the business, such as at Grangemouth, where INEOS is spending £1 billion in the site's transition to hydrogen power. Investment in low-carbon assets will be crucial to the energy transition. This will be supported by the recently launched Hydrogen One Capital, London's first fund dedicated to hydrogen projects. It will create a lens for INEOS and INEOS Energy on areas where we start to see progress in hydrogen going forward and some of the jurisdictions where we think it will become effective and allow us to invest. But developing a hydrogen economy will require investment in infrastructure and policy changes at a national level. What government needs to do in a nutshell is to uh, help us with the infrastructure on this process, give us the ability to develop this technology at scale and push hydrogen into the economy. It is clear that we have the know-how and knowledge of how to do this. We just need to act sooner rather than later.